Good morning, it's Brian at Fitzpatrick's Garage Dublin Road, Kildare. I want to show you this really nice 2015, sorry, 2015 Honda Civic. Um, it is a 1.4 Sport model. It's a one owner car from brand new. Um, and it's in a nice red passion colour. And the really cool thing about these was they had a 17 inch alloy wheel from the factory, which makes a massive difference outside of the car. We are a garage in Kildare Town. And we have Maxall here, and there's also Honda. There's also Hyundai up here, and further up the road, there's also Mercedes. And then we also have brands over in Nace and Carlo and Tullamore, including Opel and Hyundai too. And the reason I'm saying that to you is if you buy a car like this from a garage like ourselves, you do know that there's going to be an after sale service because the garage is in operation for almost 70 years. Anyway, the main reason you're looking at this car is because, sorry, the video is because you want to see the car. The car, as we were saying, a 2015 Sport model in the Honda Civic. This was the facelift 2015, um, which had the bigger, fatter, similar to the Type R um, style front bumpers. The red passion is really, really amazing looking and the other thing about it is as well it has the really nice 17 inch wheels so normally the diesel came with a 16 and the petrols are always really unique looking because they have those big 17s and I think it makes, it makes such a difference to the car overall. Um, at the front a sport has a nice chrome surround around the fog lamp there is a parking sensor up through here and then your headlamp uh, also entails this big long LED daytime running lamp so at the front of the car then when you see these cars coming towards you gives it a nice aggressive look uh, overall. In terms of the side of the car, you will have these nice, in 2015, they put an update on them and you had the, these nice scuff guards down low on the doors. Um, everything is color coded all the way down the side and then the surrounds around the windows are black. The rear window is tinted. The rear spoiler got a little bit bigger in 2015 and it was black. And then they had an LED tail light in through here, which we'll just turn on for a sec so you can have a better look. So. Uh, actually two things, the front headlights became a projector style headlamp and then after that as we were saying there was the LED set up along the back but look at that colour, especially today with the sun, it's so cool, looks really really well. Um, down along the back there was a diffuser that went along the way at the back and there's also then rear parking sensors along through here, the rear owner also had wheel lock nuts fitted um, and also mud flaps fitted on the outside because she felt I suppose with the 17s they're quite attractive um, so for safety she had those fitted overall uh, looks really really cool I love the way I would say the black around the arches black inside in the wheels black on the rear window onto the spoiler onto the bumper it's all really congruent it looks really really well um, in terms of other functionality on that car the lights are automated so when we lock the car they will turn off. Apologies about the camera work. This is from an iPod and I hate these iPods. I like Apple products, but uh, this one's not particularly good, but got to get a better camera at some stage. So if we have a look anyway, the headlights, first of all, I've locked the car now and just give that a sec. Okay, headlights are gone off. If I come back out, unlock, lights come back on. And then similarly then, if I want, if I lock the car, if you watch the wing mirrors, they retract. If I unlock the car, I can bring the windows down if I do it properly, which for some reason I haven't. So lock once, unlock once, unlock again and keep my finger on the button. And there we go, the windows are down. And then similarly lock once, lock twice, and windows retract. The wing mirrors don't come back out until I open up the driver's door. While we're down to the back of the car, I'm just gonna have a look in the boot. Oops, so let's undo that. Um, so nice tidy boot throughout. Um, in terms of down under here, we can put a spare wheel in if we want, or there is storage in through there. Um, but condition of the boot's quite nice and it's quite big. But one pretty cool thing about Civics, which if you're familiar with them, you'll know, is they have the magic seat setup. So if I grab this seat in through here, I can close that down, and it just means then that I've got a tall mode overall. Materials on the floor and then to drop down the seat. The seats themselves are in really nice condition. Center armrest up through here. You will have Isofix over here for child seat. You will have Isofix over here for child seat as well. Head restraints along the back and materials on both sides, absolutely spotless. So previous owner, she was in fairness, I would describe as quite fussy in terms of how she looks after a car. And I mean that in a positive way. Um, so she's done a really nice job. Looking after the car, right angle doors to get in and out, which are pretty cool. And then up front, so we have over here electrics for windows and mirrors. After that then, 
there is, okay, I'm just gonna let this, I might just drive the car into the shade because this is probably not brilliant for this camera. So we're just gonna reverse back into a shaded area. Uh, okay, so over here beside this, so if you look there, that's a 2012 Civic, so the front end's a little bit different. Actually, I'm gonna park the two of them side by side for a sec. And it gives a better idea of that 2015 revision, just how kind of chunkier and fatter the car became overall. So back into reverse again. Gears are six forward, um, and that is a 100 horsepower engine up front with um, 270 euros a year for road tax overall. Uh, right, so we're in beside that car. Uh, sensors make noise, obviously, when I'm going back. And those guidelines are dynamic depending what way I'm turning overall. So if we have a look at that car from the outside, um, it gives you a better idea. So that is your 2012, and then that's your 2015. So there is quite a big chunky difference on the 15 overall. Um, anyway, while we're in this shaded area, the, okay. Um, into here, we have HDMI and USB. Um, so passenger and driver has USB for music or charging phones or whatever. Controls down through here for heating, so dual zone either side. It has a start-stop function uh, at a traffic light. Um, as you were saying, the engine up front is 100 horsepower, 270 euros road tax, normal fuel efficiency, in around 6 litres per 100 kilometres, which is about 45 miles per gallon. Touch and swipe on the radio, so phone and Bluetooth and radio overall, uh -huh, which is internet radio, and then obviously we can go into our Android setup, which is going to have a browser. Uh, if we want to uh, start Google and stuff just once you're set up with a hotspot. Um, after that then we have over here an iMID which is changing information like average speed, fuel consumption, current time, um, all that kind of stuff, how much fuel has got left on the tank. Uh, speedo in through here and those blue lights are related to this eco function in through here so they will change colour depending on whether you are driving economically or not and also then they govern how aggressive the cruise control is and how aggressive the air conditioner is. Um, like we were saying, electrics for windows and mirrors all down through here. Wipers are automated, headlights are automated as we saw. Revolution counter and up and down telling us when is the most efficient time to change gear. Uh, how much fuel we got left and engine temperature down in the corner. Parking sensors for front and rear to go with the camera. Height of the lights and traction control in through there as well. And then other safety features include the airbag here, airbag there, also up here and down the side. So side the seat, curtain up high and then all the doors will have steel bars for side impact protection and obviously anti-lock brakes, emergency brake distribution, emergency brake assist, so a ton of features overall. So that is a 2015 1.4 iVTEC Sport Honda Civic that we have in stock right now. Um, if you want more information on the car, please do give me a shout. Brian is my name, 086-843-1945, or if you come to the garage, just ask for Brian. Um, we can do finance, we can take any part exchange that you want, um, and then there'll be warranty with this car, and also AA cover as it leaves as well. Um, so. Uh, hopefully this car is of interest. Apologies about the poor camera work and the lighting, but the camera's not great and the camera work is even worse. Um, thanks for taking time to watch.